Well, hello friends, this is David with Dayfish84. Welcome to another episode. Just yesterday, I was fishing with Captain Mike Trisdale from Brace Yourself Guide Service up in the creeks where the trout had been for the last month plus, and we struggled like crazy. It was a weird day, but we ended up catching some nice fish by accident. But what's interesting is today, Captain Mike and his friends, he was fishing a different boat than I was. I was fishing with my German friend, Flo, you're gonna see here, we both found them up in the main river around bridges. Interesting, interesting day. What really was difficult for us is that we had a time crunch. We had to leave fish biting big time. Captain Mike came in behind us, caught a ton. But either way, we all did really, really good. There's so much to learn from this video, no matter where you live in the country. If you're after a speckled sea trout, you can apply what you learn from this video, what you see in this video, wherever you are. You're gonna learn a lot from this one. freaking cold out here really cold we're uh we're up in a little creek here in eastern north carolina just starting off looking for bait and trolling trolling is just a sure way to pick up fish and to find them when you're searching for them but we're just looking for bait and getting close to docks looking for birds all that stuff they're in transition right now from going from the main river into the creeks but they're they're hard to find but if you can find them it can be really really good We got a hard bait and a couple soft plastics trolling out the back. All right, try a new spot here. So, creek mouth off from the bigger creek. Where I'm from in upstate New York, a creek is like where you catch a little stream trout. Here in the Carolinas, a creek could be like, look like a giant river. And uh, a bit weird getting used to, but yeah, this is a, a big creek with a side creek here. And, uh, trout have been moving up. They're staging. Some of them are in the river, the main river, which is down from us. And uh, some of them are still there, but some are pushing up into this bigger creek and they'll stage outside of these smaller creeks, especially if you can find bait. Got a buddy over here in this boat in front of us has been telling us there's all kinds of bait here. And I got a couple already this morning. Nice trout. I'm uh, cast and letting it sink for about four seconds and I'll start slowly reeling, keeping tension and just little twitches. This soft uh, plastic mirror lure on a half ounce jig head. I'll try this and we'll try using some switch baits and paddle tails. And Florence using a paddle tail right now. Got salt strong. And also I like the remote areas because it's more challenging. You you don't uh, you don't have so much uh, artificial structures. You just go by the grass and the you know. Yep, points and holes. So I kind of like more. And also I had good success, you know. Yeah, it's nice it's to get. Like in Hoboken, I like that area a lot. Yeah. yeah, that's where he had suggested giving it a try. But uh, yeah, it's an hour drive. You know? Yeah, if you can get into some good fish, be worth it. Or oh, Dawson Creek is also a really good spot. Yeah. So I love here in Eastern North Carolina. There's just so many. Nice creeks. I mean, it's the same from here all the way down to Florida, I'm sure. South Carolina, Alabama. Same rules apply in general. Just we're, we're fortunate we've got good spots so close to home here. We've got one. How about that? It's a nice fish. Look at the size of this trout. It's a real nice one. Look out, look out far out there too. Just like before he said the, the one he got in top water was out of ways. That's interesting. That's a real nice trout. Nice! That's a stud. That's a stud! 
<laughs> uh, that's too funny. He just, he had just uh, yelled over to me, this is boring. <laughs> 10 seconds later, he hooks up to a stud. Oh, and Florin's on. Hey, they just lit up. How about that? You just turned them on, Mike. Yep. That's with a swim bait, right? That's all strong. Yeah. All right. Check this out. Heavy. Oh, wow. Flounder. Oh, flounder, are you kidding me? <laughs> nice one, too. He got a halibut. That's what we call him. Flounder, really. <laughs> nice halibut. <laughs> we were just joking yesterday about that. Can't keep flounder, but you can keep halibut because they're non native species. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least something pulled the line. Let me take a little picture of it. So here in North Carolina, you can only keep one a day. And it's a 15 day season in end of uh, September. Yeah, you go to Virginia or South Carolina, you can keep them. What, four, at least four a day, or more. In the long season. So if we were in Virginia or uh, South Carolina, I'd be going home. Get a quick measurement so we know what we're doing. With. Yeah, he's a keeper. He would have been. Always a gamble to leave fish to find fish. But we had intel to tell us that the main river just might be stacked with fish. So we've made the move to this trestle bridge and put in our time. And this is an example, this video, of something you can do anywhere in the country in that transition time from fall to winter. These fish will stack up in huge schools. Check this out. I hope you learn a lot from this. This is not a popular spot or anything. <laughs> I heard yesterday there was like 30 boats here. So this is a... Uh... Not bad at all. I'm trying to do this as quietly as possible. Alright, we've been here just a few minutes. Florin already had a hit. It's a good sign. Very good sign. Get this thing out of my face. Yeah, it really is. Honey, switch bait was the way to do it. Look at that, that is a nice trout. Real nice trout. 
deal. Look at that. Beautiful. What do we got? Yeah, 19. 19, yeah. That's right. We got a couple of cows. There he goes. Awesome job. We used the hard plastics for 15, 20 minutes, and that was out here. First or second cast for the twitch bait? It was about fifth cast, yeah. All right, well, yeah, they really like them. Keep trying that then. So after we got to that trestle bridge, I started throwing the soft plastic mirror lure, fishing near the bottom, just kind of bouncing it up along the bottom. Florin was throwing his uh, paddle tail from Salt Strong. I think it was like a white, maybe had some uh, pepper flakes in it. He got nailed, had missed a really nice fish, didn't get it on camera. We did that for about 15 minutes, and then I misspoke there in that video. We were still using soft plastics, but then Florin switched over to a hard plastic mirror lure, and within the fifth cast, he got nailed by that trout. And if you're wondering what happened to the, the fight there, I've had a problem with my GoPros, not very often, but sometimes they just freeze. And in the middle of that fight, for whatever reason, the audio stayed, but the video part just froze and we lost it. And then the next couple of videos after that, thankfully nothing exciting happened, but they froze up as well. So that's why we cut it right to a floor with a fish, uh, measuring it and letting it go. But the thing is we kept using the hard plastic mirror lures, both of us. I think he had a few more hits and then I went back to the soft plastic mirror lure, switched up the color to a purple and chartreuse and started fishing it near the top and things started to change. The thing is, Florin had to pick up his son in just 30 minutes from this time, or less than that even. We had like a really short window and we were starting to get these fish to hit like crazy and we had to gun out of there, which was a huge bummer. And which is funny, I was in contact with Captain Mike and let him know he was on the other side of the bridge, not getting anything. He came in right behind us, picked up 22 trout in a very short time. So it just, lit up and not just us i was watching other boats around us and they were catching a lot of fish too that area was just stacked and this is one of those areas this time of year in that fall to winter transition these trout will stack up by these bridges in massive schools and there are some big ones there too captain mike in weeks prior and on this day had lost some giant trout but yeah it was a bummer to leave we ended up you'll see uh getting into a real nice one on a quick troll by the big bridge but yeah, one of the most painful things in the world when you're on a hot bite and you have to leave it. But let's get back to the action. Always interesting when you see all these other boats, observe what they're doing, how close boats are into the, the bridge, how far ones are back, and just observe. Keep your eyes open. <clears throat> Guys will be really careful when they get a fish to keep it quiet. But if you watch carefully, you'll see who's catching fish. Those fish could be right up against this bridge or they might be out quite a ways. It's a different kind of fishing than the creeks when you're the only one out there. <laughs> this is a lot of guys there. You got the Lone Ranger over there. We're on the end of all of these guys and Bo just got a real solid 19 inch trout. So we know we've got fish where we're at. My theory is these fish kind of migrate, follow the bait up and down this bridge. There's also a lot of stripers here too, often. I think we're just gonna stay put, keep switching up our baits, keep trying different approaches. See if we can pick, oh, oh, oh I just had, just had, a, just had a missed strike right there. It's hard too, not how the heck it didn't get hooked. We're really close to the boat too. <laughs> Same colors he just had his with, his pink. About eight foot, I'm probably only three, four foot down when that fish hit that. Didn't come back for it. Hmm. Interesting. When I had a little slack in my line, I just felt a thud. That's when, yeah, when, they, when they usually hit, when it drops. Yep. I need to put some. It's with that pin, that purple. Nice fish. Alright, up. Oh yeah! Ha! <laughs> Look at that. 
<clears throat> that's why pay changing up those colors pays off just kept changing up changing up changing up that was the first cast at the bridge with that fish for that fish pretty awesome Let's see how long he is. 16, 15 and a half, 16. That's a nice eater right there. Get a quick release on huh? it. Yeah, it's just interesting using all these different lures, having all these different bumps, but keep switching it up. Second cast with a new lure. Awesome. Oh. It's that purple with the sartreuse. Doused in uh, I think it just cut Procure. Off. It went back. There we go. All right, so just switched up here to a new color. Sometimes when all else fails, you just gotta go back to your confidence bait, but I've been switching up and switching up, switching up. Had a number of short strikes on different lures. It wasn't until I switched up to this lure, I finally got one good solid bite. Other than that, we're just looking at other boats. I'm seeing a fish caught here and there, but nobody's killing them. Seems like they're scattered and just moving up and along, up and down this bridge. Come on. We better hang out a little longer because you got bumped and I've got three on that cast. Son of a gun. Eat it. <laughs> There must have been more than one because uh pulled drag on that one hooks. So interesting. Keep throwing this uh mirror lure, the pink and sartreuse, which just happened is had a big hit. Rod bent like crazy in the hook set, no hook set. Look at that hook when that fish grabbed it. Must have pushed that tail up over the bait and it hooked the tail. I couldn't hook that fish like that unless I was really setting the hook and I just got an ultralight, so bummer. Crazy. They're here. Definitely here. All right, I just missed, I just missed uh, three strikes. Florin's on. Look at that, that's a nice trout too. Yeah, you need the net. Just try to keep them going. That's a real nice trout. Gosh, not time to leave yet. There's fish here. So I had three missed strikes on one cast. Florin had a strike and a miss just before that. And then bam. There's a boat in front of us, just got one. You took it hard. Oh, man, that's a nice trout right there. Heck yes. It's happening here right now. It's the most action we've had the whole time we've been here. Just. It just, it just stopped. The line just stopped. Like, ooh, it's, you know, he nailed him. C20? 19 again? Yeah, 19. Solid 19 inch trout. That's awesome. All right, so we just had some mayhem here. We're watching this boat. It's a pretty decent ways away from us. I think they got about three trout in 10 minutes. I cast it out, missed a really good one. Hole was bent over. I reeled it in and the tail was hooked in on it. A couple minutes later, I cast it out three strikes. One of them I set the hook and a little drag. Two seconds later, got another strike. I'm fixing that all of a sudden, flooring. He, or before that, he had a strike. Next cast, he got 19 inch trout. So they're showing up all of a sudden here. And they seem to be back away from the bridge, watching this boat and where we're getting, which is interesting because in the beginning, we were all casting right at the bridge. That's why you have to pay really close attention to what other boats are doing and the pattern you're developing. Where are you getting your bites? I think you just got to keep switching up, casting to the bridge. And hitting all the different areas because these trout do move around quite a lot. Hopefully we'll get a couple more here. It's definitely picked up. Yeah, mine was like a thud. And then all of a sudden a big weight and then I don't know why it didn't get hooked there. He just grabbed it and sat there like this line is like tight. Yeah, he was pulling your rod real good. He's doing that death roll at the top. Uh -huh. I thought he was actually a little bigger than that yeah, when I first saw it. 
Still, I need 19 inch trouts. Maybe he wants just the twice as I was. Yeah. Well, he has a nice humpback. Nice thick trout. back always on the drop hmm. yeah that's how a lot of mine have been way too long to, 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 uh, to jerk it you know then it will let off too hmm. yeah. yeah see those both of them guys are casting back yeah. now Yeah, it's funny. Must be, I mean, if they're, if they're catching trout as far away as they are, and we're doing the same thing here, it must be a lot of trout cruising this bridge. I mean, a lot. Try one more up by the bridge. Fish on. On the fall. Nice fish. Can you get the net? This one feels good. That was right away within two seconds of it falling. So it must have been close to the top. Oh yeah, nice fish. Okay, okay, okay. Here he is, here he is. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice one. Yes, sir. Right. That's a solid one there too that oh, yeah. and the hook just came right out again that's why you have got to keep pressure on these fish yep kept pressure the whole time and then he that hook came out the second he was in the net crazy how that happens nice and easy they're all about the same size oh, 18, 19. yeah that's a solid 18 19 inch trout right there just got one in the well to bring home that's all i need awesome no, Florin, I hate to leave him biting, but we got. I guess we got to get going here. We got to get going. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the, the bite is happening. Got to keep some for next time too. Yeah, yeah we got to keep some for next time. If anyone else wants to try this? <laughs> yeah, they're here. I mean, there's. You saw it. There's a lot of boats here. People are catching. We've stayed in this one spot the whole time, and it's been fairly consistent. But now it's it's really on. But all right, last hurrah. Just a quick troll along the overpass bridge here. Just never know you could pick up a big striper or a really nice trout. Just kind of a good way to kind of do some scouting work and see what kind of fish we still have here at this bridge. We know they're at the trestle, but there's going to be some fish here. It's a matter of how many. There's a lot of boats at the trestle. There's literally no one fishing this bridge right now. So, but this is a great way to search fish. It's a nice one too. That's a, that's a really nice fish right there. Gonna need that's the spot. I can buy that, buy that, it's uh, a, I think it's a trout too. It's, but it, but it's, fine. it's a big trout. I think. It's big. Definitely gonna need the net on this. Okay. Hey Florian, you mind getting that other GoPro of mine going? Hit the top button so it doesn't turn this one off. Gotta power it on. And then uh just hand me the net and I'll net this fish. GoPro, stop recording. Hit that top button. Oh, it's it's going, it's going. Yeah, hand me that net real quick. It's a really good fish. Gosh, this is a trout, it's big. If this is a trout, it's really big. If it's a trout. Can you hand me that net, Florin? This is a very good fish. Watch this be like a citation trout here. Here, I'll net him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Felt a lot bigger than that, but that's a, that's a nice, Solid trout right there. 22, 21. Let's see. Don't want my fingers in your gills there, girl. 
Oh yeah, it's a solid trout right there. Look at that. Jeepers. Look at the size of that. That's a beaut. That's a chunk. That's a chunk. Another one. Really? Yep. I'm going to put this one in the live well for now. It's a fish? It's got to be a sad to say. It's a 21. I'm going to put this in the live well for now. We'll deal with this later. All right, that was a bit chaotic. So I put this uh, 21 inch in the live well. But I don't want to keep this one. We're going to let it go. Awesome trout. She goes. Whew. Yeah, they're still here both bridges I mean that troll I would typically want to go back and fish that area where we got that trout thoroughly casting but we're in a hurry we're gonna go uh, pick up my buddy's boy and we're gonna go home it's a Sunday afternoon so uh been fishing all weekend yesterday I fished from sunup to sundown I need to do some editing work and some cleaning up around the house and cooking stuff like that but yeah the trout are here end of November we're going into December is one of the best times of year right now if you're not after them make sure you get out take some time to do this Trolling works, casting works. Gosh, it's awesome. Unbelievably difficult and painful to leave a bite like that. It was just turning on. I called Captain Mike, he came in, he fished right behind us in that same spot. Got 22 trout in no time. But as my German friend Flo said, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. And we did, we had to pick up his son. It was a Sunday and we had a lot to do. They'll be there again, and that's the good news for all of us. Year after year, these fish in that transitioning season from the fall to winter will be in areas like this and around the country year after year after year, feeding up before they make that full transition into the creeks, which right now, just before Christmas, they're in up in those creeks and those big deep hole bends. But anyways, if you got value from this, please consider subscribing. And as always, God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.